So what we got here is a Toro Power Clear. Um, kind of the same on a lot of these Toro snow blowers, but this one is quite easier to get to as far as the carburetor goes. This here surges real bad when it starts up. A uh, common issue on any of the Power Clear models, a lot of your smaller snow blowers like this from Toro. Um, so I'll start it up here. As you can see, surging real bad. So um, this one here just had a nice access panel on the front uh, real easy with one bolt to take off um, some of them are a little bit more difficult uh, it's, as I said it's the same design over a lot of the different Toro snowblower models but as soon as you get in here to the carburetor if you look to the back here where your linkage is this here a lot of times gets bent so uh, this has probably just been a little bit from either somebody taking it off at some point uh, or just normal wear and tear. Uh, so all I'm going to do is pinch this together a little bit. I've got a long pair of needle nose here, double jointed. Um, all I'm going to do here is take this in here and squeeze that together just a little bit. So it's just about straight up and down. I might need to go a little bit more than that. Now you don't want to go too far because you'll have issues with that also. So I've got it bent back there. Uh, it was spread out quite a bit before. Let's see what we got here. does sound like it may be idling just a bit too fast, so I'll probably turn that idle down. Um, and all you have to do with that is there's a little tab on your spring there. You just grab a pair of pliers, turn it down just a tiny bit, move it in to turn it down. So um, doing that, that'll get my snowblower back up and running, uh, running like it should and give me a lot more power. So. Thanks for watching.